안녕하세요. It's Winstar here. Right, right now, I'm about to react to your 17s and you come back. Don't want to cry. Uh, so, uh, oh my gosh. So, I just had like 17 dance practice. Uh, so, I'm pretty tired. You can probably tell my cheeks are pretty pink. Uh, but, um, Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, I rested a bit, so now I'm kind of ready to do this uh, reaction. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't want to cry. I feel like I might cry after I watch this, and I don't want to cry, man. Uh, okay, so I um, just want to say something about Seventeen's comeback. So uh, I've heard uh, a few of their tracks on their new album, as well as some previews. I mean, I haven't heard. All of their songs. So some songs I've only heard the pre previews. So it seems like they are having like a, a concept switch, you know, um, and they're changing their music style as well. And I'm not really sure how I'm I'm taking that. Okay. Uh, so uh, I've also watched the trailers. Okay. So and then the fans, like the carrots, they're having like their theories and stuff. So. Uh, I kind of reminds me of BTS a bit. Okay, I don't mean to mention BTS in the Seventeen video. It's just that BTS and Seventeen are both my bias groups. So I tend to think about BTS. You know, like if they rhyme, remind me something of them. So um, anyway, so I I was kind of feeling like with all the trailers and the music style change, they're kind of like uh like pulling like a BTS Hwa Yang Hwa kind of concept, becoming deeper and more emotional. In, in their music and you know also, also like more mature as well maybe us uh, like more digging into the concerns and emotions of youth uh, you know, that that sort of thing uh, I don't know I, I feel like uh, it, it could be that anyway I'm going to watch the MV now and uh, probably uh, they'll yeah know what uh, style they're really trying to pull off uh, anyway yeah. I'm wearing a shirt it says diamonds here I'm not sure you can see it Cause like yeah, I mean the diamonds are really light. So okay, but my shirt says diamonds, and yeah, you know it kind of represents seventeen and carrots. Um, anyway, I'm right, going to start the MV now. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. Whoa! Look at that desert. Oh, this is on the trailer as well. Not again! Drowning water? Oh, oh, it's voice voice. Only do you see voice? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm 
for about two weeks so this was probably filmed yeah I know I know this MV was filmed mostly in LA and I'm guessing the desert was filmed in um, maybe like Nevada or Arizona or somewhere closer to California uh, I don't know that desert looks interesting uh, no that that that's definitely a real place it's not like a setting you know it's not like a fake film setting it's definitely a real place and I'll be curious to know uh, what desert that is? Uh, I feel like my seventeens MVs. They're like, uh, getting really, like high budget, high quality MVs. That kind of like, uh, you know, like BTS's, uh, you know, and Grand Canyon style MVs. So I'm, I'm glad that having this sort of, like, you know, like high high budget MV, I get to like film in a really grand like, movie like landscape. You know, so. Uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really glad about that. It seems like the company is, is putting a lot, uh, you know, into, uh, you know, production of their MVs. I mean, they even traveled to, you know, the U.S. for two weeks just to film this. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that the company is putting a lot into this. Uh, so, gosh, um, okay, so I... I really enjoyed the title track. I think it's better than the other songs on their album because like, I I listened to their other songs first and then I'm I'm not exactly sure whether I'm digging um, their changing music styles. So I was uh, sort of concerned whether I'm going to enjoy this title track. Um, but yeah, but I like this. Okay, but you know, even even if they experiment a little bit and change the music, you know, you know, I'm still gonna support them because you know, they, you know, they have great music um, since their debut and they still worked hard. They tried to experiment, so I, I'll still like applaud them for that and give them support. You know, and I still love their personalities and they're like my brothers. You know, so you know, so I wanna keep supporting them uh, no matter how their music uh, changes. Unless it's way off, but I don't think they're gonna go way off. But uh, so um, so far, the title track is my favorite um, out of the album. So it didn't disappoint, and the choreography is on yet a whole other level. Uh, yeah, it's like they had to like, get down, and yeah, it just looks really sharp and. Uh, I mean, this this is a love song it's about missing someone, not crying. Yeah, but the choreo is still really hard hitting, and um, I, I don't know, man. I mean, they they've always had hard hitting choreo, even if the song is not too hard hitting. Um, so you know, it's just kind of their style, you know, just really sharp and stuff, man. But oh, it's like on a whole other level. So. Um, yeah, I mean, these boys have worked really hard, and I can see that, you know, the dancing, uh, have improved even more. So, I'm kind of seeing some members branching off and, like, showing off, um, uh, more of their other skills, like rapper line. I think the whole rapper line stands, and there is a part where Wootsy was totally showing off his dance moves. Like, I... I heard that he almost got put into performance team because he's really good at dancing. Uh, but then he focused on vocals, so uh, we didn't really see him 
the show off is dancing as much as performance tea, but there is a part where he did like totally did some kind of solo part. And he totally like slayed and um Shirley has a dancing machine. Uh so uh that, that was pretty cool. And then um so yeah, and then the other members, I think they mostly just uh, kept doing what they've they've always been good at. It was mostly the the hip hop unit and and Wootsy who were showing a bit of their other skills. So Vernon is finally blonde. Uh, I've always uh, would have liked to see him blonde, uh, and I'm not sure if I'm really digging John Han's blonde hair. And uh, but anyway, I I wonder if people would like maybe compare him to Ren from Newest uh, or something. But um. Yeah, but I, I think Vernon looks good in blonde hair. I've always like would would have liked to see Vernon blonde because I felt like you know how K pop stars like a lot of them get their hair blonde and and to be honest, I am not really digging like Asians getting blonde hair. Uh but like Vernon's like half white. So I felt like, you know, they he would have fit blonde hair more than the, the fully Asian members. Um, he's had dark hair this whole time. And he looks good in dark hair too. And that's just me. Okay, don't. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. I feel like, you know, like, like white people they can good, look good in dark hair. And some of them do have dark hair, you know. But like Asians having blonde hair, that's just I don't know. It, it, it's not really natural, and I, I'm just not not a big fan of it. Um, but um. But it depends. Like, there's some guys who look good in blonde hair, like like Bam Bam from GOT7. Okay, but, uh, yeah. So, but anyway, I feel like Vernon fit in the blonde hair more than the full Asian members. So I would like to see him blonde. Uh, and now he's finally blonde. Okay, so, uh, I think that's cool. But anyway, I enjoy this comeback. Uh, seeing dancing have gone a lot better. I applaud their hard work and I'm going to keep supporting them. So this is all about I have to say about the MB and I'll catch y'all next time.